Hey, Cam fam, it's 2024, man. It's 2024, we're gonna up the scope. Okay. You feel me? What is good, YouTube? This is about Cam McKay with the Wish in the Back. Back with a video for you guys. They're back with a banger. Before you even stop, continue the video, stop. Go ahead and comment your favorite car I ever had. Your favorite car you want me to get. Like this video. And subscribe. You know, so thing. What's your favorite car that you want for your dream car? What's your favorite car I done had? Which thing I should get again for my next car? And like to subscribe, but simple, simple YouTube stuff, simple metrics stuff, as they say. But now for real though. Get a Rivian, bro. I want to see you in something faster. Get a Rivian. I need to see him in something faster. But it seemed like he only want to go with the, um, the combustion engine cars. So if that's the case, get a Pugani. Something that you, you ain't going to see in America. You see what I'm saying? Get a Pugani. Something that you ain't just gonna see. You only gonna see that once in your lifetime type. You know what I mean? Like this is something you ain't even, people ain't never gonna show you this type of car. Between two and four million dollars. Get a Pugani. Get something that get a Bugatti. You know what I mean? Something that people don't normally see. So that way you can bring that experience to the hood. You see what I'm saying? Bring it to the hood. You feel me? That's the best thing to do. To bring these experiences, you know, to the people around. So I'm hoping that you go bigger and better each time. I'm really getting, I'm hoping that he go bigger and better each time, y'all. But let's see. Let's see what kind of cars he got right now, y'all. I had to upload these two videos real quick. All right, we good. Okay, fam, fam. I've been doing these videos every year in January. It's 2024. I'm getting old, man. I'm going to be 25. They say I'm getting old. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all boys saying I'm old at 25. It's crazy. I thought I still had like five more years left. Get about 29, 30, then I'm getting old. But I ain't no twenty. The boy, the boy look like he, he at least 21. <laughs> 25. I'm finna be 31, dude. What are you talking about? 25. He look like he about 21. I had went to the store the other day, and the lady was like, you don't look no older than 22. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't age anymore. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That kind of stopped once I turned a certain age. But, yeah, I still literally look the same. The last 10 years, I've looked the same. Nothing has changed. I got a little muscular. But other than that, nothing else has changed. Like, still look the same. Like... Bro, I ain't even hit my prime yet, man. Right. What we come to, I ain't even hit my prime yet. Man. Right. Like, your prime is like 27, 28 in basketball. Y'all niggas already calling me old. This so crazy. <laughs> nah, I can't, man. Uh, come with y'all favorite car I ever had, bro. I want to genuinely say I thank you guys and appreciate you guys for supporting me throughout all these years, throughout all of the YouTubers that's on this platform that y'all don't watch. And then came to the car scene. Y'all see us a push your book, Kim McKay, bro, and I appreciate that, bro. But now, nah, Cam fam, um, I'm going to give y'all this updated video because y'all been turning my comment section up. Cam, what, what, do you get this car? Do you see that this car? You going to get this car? Have you get another car? Y'all been spamming me the last month or two about my car collection, bro. And I do the same thing about y'all. I want to I wanna be nosy, too. What you got, Cam? What all you got? Let us know. I was finna skip. I did sell one car, if y'all don't know. I sold it on my box Chevy. Mm. Uh, I, I'm going to get another one, bro. I, I want to, um... A ZL1 box Chevy, so when I get another one, I'm going to go ahead and make it a project box Chevy, but I'm just going ahead and, you know, make that jump. Okay. Buy like a plane, you can just, just tell. Everything. Atlanta was... If I want to buy a original <laughs> jump for the uh, ZL1 motor in it, I guess see how much those are going for these days and see how much it's going to cost now. And if I'm going to do it, I ain't going to cap. But other than that, I'm done with the box Chevy stuff, bro, until I put a ZL1 motor in one. And then we're just going to be riding that jump, you know, racing that jump, doing all type of things. But okay. I do have a crazy... Car collection right now, if I must say so myself. It's crazy. In 2021, I had a Z01, a Trey Cock, a Demon, and my C8. Mm. You feel me? Still got some of those cars two years later, but some of them gone, some of them raffled, some of them, you know, just out there in the world, out there in the belt. But let me go ahead and go and get out this car collection starting with car number one. Should we go from highest to lowest or lowest to highest? I think we should go from lowest to highest. Lowest to highest. And yeah. that's now starting off with car number one. Lowest to highest. We have a 2021 Corvette Sting Ray C8 with the color change and outrageous rubber. Get that to that girl. Now, this is the car you guys have been showing me up to. Man, you don't get that car to Jade. SRTJ, man. That car like a girl car. Now I'm looking at it now. <laughs> you like a girl car. You need a Porsche or something. 
a Bentley, fine spur, like a something. That 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 Corvette is a girl car. That's a girl. Car. It's too small. That's a girl car. My knees are on the dash. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> I still have. Yes, this is still in the fleet camp, and I'm not gonna lie. It's time for a revamp. I think time for a new rep. It's time to put a one. They got no body kit on there or nothing. But if I do all of that, camp fam, do y'all want to see a revamp of this car? Like a Let Tesla plaid. Do y'all want to see it? <laughs> like a Tesla roaster. Honestly, and you might as well trade that shit in, bro. For real, for real. Before the price start coming down on them shits, bro. That shit trash. Trade that in, please. <laughs> Take like it is and just leave it original. Just leave it yeah, trade that yeah, in, bro. Get your money back. YouTube in about two, three months, and it's just because y'all, y'all ain't rocking with it, bro. Y'all ain't rocking with it like that. I don't know why. I think the Corvette is the most. How do I say it? The Corvette C8 is the most nothing versatile. That's the word I'm looking for. Man, if you don't get your McLaren and take this damn Corvette back, bro. Stop playing with your life. Nobody want to watch no damn Corvette. That's the reason why we ain't rocking with it. It's trash. Nobody like Corvette, bro. I'm just letting you know that right now. <laughs> that is trash, bro. It's you, you might as well get a fucking Camaro. Like, you don't even... This yeah, is the most versatile car. Let me tell you why. You can go to a job interview in this car. They're going to say, okay. You know what I'm saying? He got a Corvette. Okay, look, we're professional. We might hire him just because he got a Corvette. You can go on a date on this car. You can go pick up a girl in this car. They gon' take that in the lamb. You feel me? Just look at it. You think you're in a Ferrari, so I'm just looking at you. Yeah, I told you it's a girl car. That's why. Yeah, of course you can go to... Of course you can pull up to a business meeting in a girl car. Duh. <laughs> That's like Mercedes. Why do you think all the business people got Mercedes? Duh. They pull up with the Mercedes. Duh. The girl car. Duh. But when we talking about the dogs, we pulling up in Trackhawks, we pulling up in Lambos, we pulling up, you know what I mean? We ain't talking about no damn Corvette. <laughs> you talking about the dogs, they like, no, we don't want that. We want M3s and M4s and M8s and we want all of that, like, the Trackhawks and all of that. We don't want no damn C8. What? I guess it's versatile, but with like pine that she just you know what I, mean? <laughs> I love when Corvette came this day out at first I didn't like it just like a lot of people but now I see it in person it grew on me bro hey they did their thing with this style it's futuristic gets the job done hey a lot of rappers this is their favorite car too like a lot of rappers this is their favorite car bro and it's no 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 what rapper that's their favorite car you can't name one I promise you and if there was their favorite car, it ain't their favorite car no more. I promise you, there's no rapper that like no Corvette. That sound crazy. Ain't no other rappers like no damn Corvette. <laughs> Stop trying to sell this damn car. Get this shit off of my screen, man. I hate Corvettes. Get that shit off my screen, bruh. You can never go out and stay out in the Corvette. Shit trash. Good guy trophy. I'm going to be proper. Good guy trophy. You had a bit. No, it's not. Maserati is a hood guy's trophy, not no Corvette, stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody knows Maserati. 300 C's. Everybody knows that's the hood guy car. Bro, what? When nobody pulls up with no Corvettes and no hood. No, they wasn't. That's the I want to act rich car. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's why nobody fuck with it, bruh. Cause we already know, like, it ain't it. It's not it, sir. It's not it. We skipping the Corvette, y'all. I don't like the car, so we skipping it. Let's get to the track, Hawk. Oh, actually, there was a demon second? Okay, I got two demons. Okay. Two, man, one of the craziest cars, the craziest Challenger platform to ever hit the road. Back then, you have a 2018 808 horsepower Dodge Demon, 840 horsepower on race gas with 315 drag radios all around. But I have swapped my drag radios out for street tires to be more safer for when this car rains. I don't do a lot of drag racing, but I do do a lot of, you know, driving in Mexico and stuff like that. And I gotta have street tires for this car get 315. Oh, you do a lot of driving in Mexico. Nigga, you ain't never stuck foot in no damn Mexico. <laughs> they gonna deport you driving fast in Mexico, bro. You tripping. 
<laughs> they gonna send you back to America, my nigga. Hey, nigga trip, you ain't never been to no, no damn Mexico. You ain't driving to Mexico like that, bro. There's too many damn people. You can't even do that. <laughs> That's why I don't understand why people say that dumb shit. Dude, like, oh, we driving in Mexico, bro. There's no way you driving in Mexico, bro. You're not driving to Mexico, bro. You in America, bro. Like, who are you trying to fool? You ain't fooling nobody. Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, bro. <laughs> Niggas be capping, like, so hard. Why? <laughs> and, and like I said, I don't know. Just call right here. It has a 10. You guys will see later in this video. But this car right specifically... With the car that changed the game, if you ask me, bro. It's the 2018 original Dodge Demi. And this mm -hmm. car was actually banned for being too That's fast true. to even compete at drag scripts at one particular time, which is insane. Imagine buying a car from the factory, from Dodge showroom floor, and this car is banned. That's crazy. Like, you got a lot of gems with this car. You got a lot of demons. Hidden gems just around. I didn't start off so you guys can see, but you got demons in the lights. 95 millimeter throttle body. Was Y'all, I've been playing too much GTA. I told my homeboy the other day, I'm gonna put machine guns inside the. Look, 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 put machine guns inside the uh, circle of the holes in front of the. <laughs> Open up the hood and put a submachine gun through this part right here, and it had a button on the inside so you can shoot through. I've been playing too much GTA. Like literally, y'all heard what I said, but it's possible, right? You can put a hole. Oh, you can do open the hood, put the machine gun, stick it through the front right here. Had a, the wire routed from both machine guns back to the drive. All you gotta do is press the button, both the machine guns start shooting through the front. It already got the holes for it. All you need is the placement. You just need metal coupling to, to actually sit it down on the engine. It's really easy. <laughs> but I was like, I've been playing too much video games. This is the lights. Had machine guns body. in the front of that thing. Yeah, just, just, right. just for the robots and the zombies and the Walking Dead people. You know what I'm saying? We shoot them down, okay? Get them up out of here. The sand takes up a lot of air. I also added a few um, touches to the car myself, as you guys can see the Ripper build. I added that. And this car sounds magnificent, bro. From the factory, stock. You got the uh, I terror everywhere, and then you got. Yeah, it's just more beefier. I, I got a lot of I added a lot of things to this car. It's one of my most customized cars. Ooh. As you guys can see, the demon pops up. Sixteen thousand miles. Eight hundred eight horsepower, man. Okay. That's insane. Now this one affects me. Like I said, you got two hundred miles per hour on the, on the speedometer. Gotta add a two hundred on the speedometer. Gotta add a two hundred. Two hundred miles per hour on the speedometer. As my cousin says, man, you get like I said, you got I can tear all the way on this car. Now, one thing about Dodges that I don't like is the fact that this car is this expensive, but it has the same interior as. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. The whole interior is cheap. I don't give a fuck about that little Alcatara on the door. That shit is cheap. I'm telling you that right now. Everything is so plastic. It's cheap, bro. I get it, though. As far as weight, you know what I'm saying? It takes away from, you know what I mean? So that way the car ain't too heavy. That way you can do what you need to do. But a lot of it is cheap. It's not like a Rolls Royce. You know what I'm saying? It's nowhere even close. You know what I mean? But obviously, it's a muscle car. It's not meant to be that, right? But still, they don't really have like none of the luxury type of stuff in there. They should add some more though. Hopefully they do eventually. Uh, inexpensive version or the basic version of a Dodge Challenger, which is the yeah, SA. And they have the same exact interior, but the only difference is, I think these come with like leather and more Alcatara or something like that. But other than that, it's the same car for the... The same damn car. You damn right for 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 a hundred thousand more. Three three four times the price. Right, right. <laughs> and also this one has no back seat. This demon does have a rear seat delete. Oh shoot, okay. You guys don't know that's what makes a demon a demon. You can get rear seat delete, rear seat deletes for weight reduction in them. Saving three hundred pounds. And so I can sit my damn seat back. Cause the seats in the back, man. Once you push it back, you can't go no further back. I'd be like, bro, really? I need I need room, man. Nigga tall. Like, I need room. You leave your rear seat. I think I might be wrong about that, but as you guys can see, it is a number, Damien. That's pretty cool, though. 
Yeah, that was the other thing that I was saying. Um, I don't like cars that got windshield that go like this. I know it's for speed, but I can't see nothing. I don't like. I gotta do this. Like them cars, I'm so tall, so I gotta do that. I gotta look down like this, and I'm. I feel like I'm like this. Like I don't like stuff like that. I like for the the windshield to be up, like big windshield. I don't like them small little windshield just for the speed. I ain't even tripping. We ain't going that fast anyway. You know what I mean? Like we ain't going 150. We're not going 160. You know what I mean? We don't need for my windshield to be turned like this. You know what I mean? We're not on the track. You feel me? We, we on normal roads and normal streets. We don't need the windshield to be like that. I need to be able to see. Got a lot of cool features about this car, man. A lot of cool features about this car. The center console is everything is right here. That's your display. Got the metal pedals. SRT on the wheel, SRT package, screen racing technology. A lot of people get SRTs and even know what SRT mean. SRT means screen racing technology for everybody who wants one. Screen racing technology, man. Mm -hmm. Some nice wheels. Big boy Brembo is on there. Big boy Nitto G5, Nitto Triple 5 G2. It's excellent for group. I recommend these times for anybody with 315s. Those just ain't spent on me that much yet. They still spend a little bit. But as far as everything else, they really hold immaculate grip, bro. Now, prices, this car right here was $92,000. Uh, this car right here was $148,000. Hmm. Back two years ago in 2021. So, I bought it with 2,000 miles on it. Drove it all the way from California. And when I got to Atlanta, it was basically like, I think like 4,500 miles. So, hmm. I put crazy miles on this car the first day I got it. That just shows you how insane I am. Of a grinder for you guys for this YouTube stuff and where I put that put And it shows how good that car is because a lot of cars won't even make it that far. Especially going through all them mountains and all them dips and ups and all them. Man, a lot of cars ain't gonna make it that far. 3,500 miles, a lot of cars not gonna make it that far. Literally. They'd have to put it on like a, a truck or something to, to bring it because it, it may not even, you know what I mean? A lot of cars are not gonna make it that far. That car is a hustler, then. You know what I mean? The car itself is a hustler. You know what I mean? Like, it makes sense though. Demon. Makes sense. Predicaments I put myself in. That's a 32 hour drive from California to Atlanta. That ain't the best. Thousand miles. And bro, I was tired, but I had to get that content out for you guys, man. I know you guys love this car when I uploaded it. And you guys went absolutely insane when I uploaded this Dodge to me two years ago. I want to thank you guys for that cam fam. And it's just, oh yeah, both of them is 10 it will. Them got broken too, I ain't got the chance to see this yet, so it will send it. But then when it is 10 it will. Third and final car. The last call of 2023 dies, That one look crazy, I ain't gonna lie. That 170, it's crazy how they did the lip like that too. Right down the front like that. How they, they didn't do that on this one. They still got that same lip like that though. Oh yeah, this one got, see this one got the side, the wide on the front. This one got the wide in the front. I like the wide in the back, not the front. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like this one, you, you can, you can, turn corners better and stuff like that having that grip in the back and wild body in the back i like this one a little bit better than that one and the color blue i'm, I'm, I'm liking that i'm liking it a whole lot which one y'all like better the old demon or the demon 170. twenty thousand dollars two hundred plus thousand dollar dollars bro that's what you're looking at right here which is insane right whoever thought dodge would have been that high this one actually got a quarter of a million instead of a demon let me show you guys. I want to show you guys that feature too. Quarter of a million. Show you guys this is between these two. This one will also be getting wrapped soon. This okay. one got the red and two. This one got two twenty on the dash. Two twenty. This one got a thousand horsepower. This one got eight hundred. This will sound way more aggressive. Here we hear. Yellow eye. As you guys can see. <laughs> Why that demon with the M look like McDonald's? That's all I got to think about is McDonald's. Red and, two. <laughs> red and yellow. I want the back seats in this one because the other one don't get back seats. And I can always take the back seats out. So if it ain't nothing taking the back seats out and putting the cover on, over it, I can do that. This one right. does not have the stars in the roof. Same, like I said, exact same interior as every other Challenger. Except it got red leather. My other one got leather and I can tear it all around. This one got leather up here actually, which is a patent leather, I think, which is way more soothing of a feeling. This one got Avatar in the roof. I don't think my other one has Avatar in the roof. Uh, this one got 
Right now we're on a, we're on a uh, 900 horsepower, so. But it does go to a thousand if I put it, you know, the right mode and everything. Then it goes to a thousand. But right now we're on 900. This has got way more features, way better trans brake, way better pistons in the engine. Everything about this car is just way better. This sound like a monster, right? See, you got the paper chains and everything right there. This one has three, three, we can have three fifteen fifties on the back. Ram size seventeen. What this one is? Three fifteens, the fifty wall. Shh. That's how we talking about fitting the fifty wall. That's pretty good, man. So he can hit some potholes. He can hit speed bumps, and he ain't gonna worry about his tires doing nothing. He got more like. Yeah, you got more meat on the wheels, you know what I'm saying? They're not skinny. People go with them skinny wheels because they be having the Forgiatos and things like that. And then they be wondering why they be spinning out and why they can't get no grip. So I'm, I'm liking this one for sure. I'm definitely liking 315. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Drag radials. Not recommended for jogging on the street, as you guys can see. Slicker than... The girl's hair. This one right here <laughs> has 315s, 40, rim size 18 on the back. So it's a inch bigger in the rim size. And the width is 40 while this one is 50. So. Yeah, I see. You see how small that 40 is? Yeah. And you got all that room. You see, now you got all that extra room in there. That's why I like the 50, because the 50 would have gave him an extra inch off. And then even with a little bit of room there, when the, when the car hits and stuff like that, it'll bounce. It'll bounce correctly. You won't have so much room in there. It's all good though. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I like game. it though. I like both of them. It's SRT. This one got the black with the green Brembo brakes. I don't know why they did this instead of the red on these cars, but they did. This one got the red Brembo brakes. I wish this one came with red Brembo brakes, but they, they don't for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why they don't, but they don't. So let's pop the hood on this one, give you guys a comparison, show you guys this between the last call, Demon 170, and the 2018 Demon first call. <laughs> this is called the Archangel, by the way. It's not a Demon 170. It's the Archangel slash the Golden Eye, the Golden Child. Okay. This is the Satan himself, the Devil. Okay. That's why this one is black, and this one is bright blue because this one represents the good. This, re this one represents the Archangel. The devil represents, you know, the bad. That's why it's slower. <laughs> it can never be good. Good can never be bad. Remember that kind of thing. All right. This one has. Wait, what? Hey, remember that kind of thing. All right. That's why it's slower. Cause it can never be good. Good can never be bad. Remember that kind of thing. All right? <laughs> uh, he just said this was slower. It can never be good. The day he would have said good can never be bad. Did y'all just hear him say that? Did he even notice he said that? He literally said both things and then said the opposite and then didn't even notice it. I'll tell you what, boy. <laughs> Let's hear this one more time. Just make sure I ain't tripping. I know I ain't tripping. I got good ears, but uh, yeah. Lord, cause it can never be good. Good can never be bad. Remember that kind of thing. This one has oh, okay. injected. A lot, a lot of different features between these two cars. They're not the same cars everybody would think. Actually, way different cars, man. Starting with the last car. This one got last car Challenger. This one got a green belt. Already comes on E85. This one got a 105 millimeter throttle body. That one got 95 millimeter throttle body. This one, this one pushed 21 pounds of, of boost. That one only got 14 and a half. This one got like 25, 21 and a half, 21.5 if, if I'm not mistaken. Both cars have chillers. This car just way faster with better suspension. Now, if you guys know anything about the 2018 Dodge Demon, you know the suspension on this car is way better than any other Hellcat at Red Eye. Like, the thing that made this car so much faster than any other Hellcat was the suspension. You guys really can't see it, but the suspension on this car with the weight transfer is absolutely insane. That's what made these. Well, so you can look at that thing and look like it got, it got some good suspension on it. Like it got, got truss suspension on it or something. You can look at it and tell. And that's the other thing about the Corvette. The Corvette, you can look at it and tell it ain't got nothing going on. <laughs> it ain't got nothing going on, man. It's sleep. Little girl car, it's sleep. It ain't nothing too, too pressure. But we, we talking about these Dodge, and we talking about these Demons and these muscle cars, and now we talking about some pressure. You know what I mean? Now we talking about that pressure. Let's go out through the, um, pop wheelies and do bizarre donuts and stuff like that. Right. 
But the Demon of the 70 has a 50% stronger suspension, which is even crazy. Well, should I say stronger or softer? I don't know, but this one does have way better gens. It got air grabber right there. I just seen this right now. It got air grabber right here going through the intake. Got the big boy intake. I need to spray on here and wash it off a little bit, huh? You got the red block in here. Got the demon is not 3D though. And then you come over here. Yeah, I like the other one though. The other one. This one has a 3D yellow block. So you got the yellow block right there, as you guys can see. Ah. See the yellow right there? Got the yellow block, got the 3D de demon coming. Yeah, I like the 3D demon. I like the highest black on the top up there too, instead of silver. I like the engine one and this one. This one look a little bit more pretty. Yeah. As you guys can see, it's coming up. See how it's not flat? It's actually sticking up. See my wheel? It's sticking up right there. This one does not have the air grabber right there. I don't know why Dodge did not do that. This one has direct connection in the lights. It does not have a demon in there. I don't know why Dodge didn't put another demon in there. Oh, wow. Like they did the 2018, but they put direct connection. I guess direct connection sponsored this car, basically, or partnered with Dodge to make this car. Mm. I don't know. But that's the collision cam, fam. From starting out 2023, 2024, I'm pretty sure it'll be something different. Obviously, like every other year, we got different cars in. We swap them in now every year, man. The only thing that's probably safe is going to be these two cars if I don't sell them. But other than that, okay. it's my collection fan, fam. $220,000. Dodge Demon 170, 2023 last car. Hopefully, the price only goes up. Then you got the 2018 Dodge Demon. Cost me $148. And then you got a Corvette C8 that cost me forty two ninety two. That about four hundred thousand, man. So that about that about uh, that about five hundred five hundred thousand basically. Mm hmm. About five hundred thousand in cars. That's pretty good though. Half a mil, okay. That's pretty good. Can you please get rid of that car? This blowing me. Get a truck or something. <laughs> Get a Lotus Elise. Get a truck. Get a fucking. Get a Yaris. A Performante. I mean, just get rid of the fucking Corvette, please. Look at the windshield. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, look at this windshield. It's literally like this. I'll be hitting my head on this thing right here, trying to like. <laughs> ah, I hate when windshields like that. Then you ain't got no back seats, like at all. At least in these cars, they can at least try to sit down, try to stand. Uh, this one is literally nothing. You can't even put kids in this shit, bro. No, bro. You might look at the AMG. Uh, GT63 SE Performance. It'll blow this out the water. And it sound better. Literally. AMG GT63 E Performance. Over 800 horsepower. It'll blow this out the water. Like... Throw this away. <laughs> Literally. Drive this off of Stone Mountain. Go to Kennesaw Mountain. Drive this shit off. Literally. Blow that shit up. This shit is ass. That's why nobody drives them. You might as well get an NSX. Nobody likes that. <laughs> That's what this is resembled to me. It's like an NSX. It's like a fucking tuner car. It's like... Ugh. Get this off my screen. <laughs> Good job, bro. With the whips in the red. Good job, bro. What's our favorite car? What's y'all favorite car I ever had? This is up station. there, man, for sure. I wanna know all that, man. See how this one in 3D? It's just on the engine, which is still crazy. Yeah. It's insane to me. They're like a six but pack. This one got way better gems. I guess because it's 2018, huh? And I just wanted to show the respect and let that one have better gems because that is the car that started this car. So this is like the Michael Jordan, this is like the LeBron James. Ah. You I just dodged. I got you. I hear you. Both of them SRT speed racing technology. And then you got the looks. It's quite, it's, an, it's a car on the 400, I think 400 horsepower, 490 or something, I think. But it just looks so grim. And, it just looks so good and futuristic, bro. It, yeah, check it out with video. I appreciate you. appreciate everything you got. That's that's like when you got your uh, little garage on Grand Theft. You got 10 cars and you try to figure out, you trying to get rid of one of them, but you didn't want to take the other car to the other house. You trying to get rid of one of them, but you got the Corvette in there. And you was like, man, I don't even want to get rid of the Corvette, man. But I do want to get rid of Corvette because I got to add new cars to the list. It's like, now you're trying to switch out. You're trying to figure out which car you want to switch out. Even though the Corvette, even the Corvette ain't Grand Theft was better than that one. I'm not going to lie. It's because you ain't got no wing. You ain't got racing stripes. You ain't got no canards on the front. You ain't got no side splitters. Like, this shit is ugly, bro. It's a girl car, bro. 
like a fucking Porsche, um, a uh, fucking basic ass fucking Audi. That's what that looked like to me. Like I said, he ain't got none of the he ain't got none of the perks. He ain't got no wing on the back. You know that shit's slow. He ain't got no wing. They just said 400 horsepower. Man, go get you an AMG, man. <laughs> go get a BMW, man. Take that shit back. All right, y'all know, man. Hey, good video though. Good video. I ain't gonna lie, it's a good video. And I'm rocking with the demons, man. I'm not rocking with that Corvette, bro. That's me too. I ain't rocking with that Corvette, bro. It just don't make no sense to me. It just don't make no sense. Anybody that don't have one, they ain't got it no more. Because it just don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? It just don't make no sense. I'm out, y'all. Peace.